What's going on guys? Chris Model Academics here and we are in none other than Park City, Utah where the one and only Hoonigan Racing Division is. Now, in case you guys aren't so sure about what that is, that is where the one and only Ken Block has his garage and keeps a lot of his toys and things. So we're gonna take a walk around, we're gonna see some of the little things that he has in here and uh, you know, hopefully be able to share some of this stuff with you. Let's go. My name is Forrest Duplessis. I'm shop manager here at Hoonigan Racing Division, Park City, Utah. Uh, I just so happen to be starting up what is a mid-90s Escort Cosworth. I believe specifically this is a 94. Um, you can't see out of the windows because this car was actually painted as part of our livery uh, release for our 2018 rally season. We had a rally car that looked a lot like this that unfortunately caught on fire in the woods of Maine. Uh, that was, again, a mid-90s Escort Cosworth as well. Um, and this was just sort of painted to go along with that. Uh, kind of cool cars, we never got them over here. They are uh, two liter, all wheel drive, uh, turbocharged uh, cars from Europe. And uh, we're happy to have one. And, and this one I think eventually will go back to being some sort of a street car. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna park it in the lobby, let people take some photos of it. And uh, a little bit hard to drive with the, uh, the coverings and everything on the windows. This is a 1972 Mark II Escort, and this is a gravel rally car. Ken Block drove it for the first time in the woods of New Hampshire at a rally school I was working at. This is a, uh, it's a Millington 16 valve. I think it's a 2.3 liter um, naturally aspirated 16 valve. If you look past these outer flares and you look at the old body lines, it's kind of a pretty unassuming, pretty basic looking car. That's how it originally was. It had some small little boxy flares on it, and then now it's been made into sort of more of a Gymkhana uh, demo car, if you will. So just a parking lot racer. Cool little car. Uh, it's one of the few cars in Ken's fleet that doesn't have a turbo. So it is a naturally aspirated 16 valve motor. Um, these Millingtons make more horsepower per liter than really any other 16 valve in the world. So they're, they're a proper nice motor. And we're up here at 7,000 feet, which yeah. people don't always realize. So all of our stuff, whether it's the Hunicorn with 1400 or this guy with you know, a Nick under 300 horsepower, they're all a bit slower uh, at elevation, and especially this being that it's naturally aspirated. This is really the only car in our lineup that is rear wheel drive. The only other car we have that's a two wheel drive car is his wife's Fiesta, that would be front wheel drive. Yeah, cool thing about the Fiesta and this and just about every other car we run is they all run a SEDEV sequential gearbox. So you always have a handbrake in just about anything we've got, actually including our side by sides. Uh, and then just to the, uh, just to, you know, closest to the driver, just to the left side of that handbrake is a uh, sequential gear lever. This is a six. So it's got a clutch, clutch in, pull back first gear, take off, and then you can pretty much just stay on the gas and keep pulling up to shift up, pushing down to shift down. No clutch needed. That's Suggestions sweet. if uh, if it's not working for you, you can just breathe on it quickly, but you really don't need one. Um, okay. And it, it's cool, like I said, most of our cars uh, under this roof will have a sequential and a turbo. And this is rare that it doesn't, but I, I like it. I like this car because you can look under the hood, intake manifold, obviously there's your head and, you know, um, uh, valve cover, exhaust, and, uh, and headers, and then you've got an alternator, you've got a starter. I mean, it's all really easy to see and work on. It's got this nice little radiator. Um, but this is a very, very simple car compared to, let's say, the Hunicorn, which, you know, you're fitting a 400 cubic inch V8 under the hood. Hunicorn runs twin turbos. Um, it, it is an all-wheel drive uh, car as well. So this is a lot more simple. I like it. Uh, as you probably saw up front, we have all of our office space uh, occupying shipping containers. So that same theme carries over here to the workshop. Um, this is where we store all of Ken's race cars, personal cars, toy cars, snowmobiles, Can MX3s, mountain bikes, anything that he plays with that has a tire or a wheel, or even a snowboard for that matter, is typically stored here. Um, we've actually never built cars here. 
Um, we have a small amount of tooling around the back corner over there behind that container. We've really only assembled cars here. So in other words, we've taken a bare shell, bolted suspension, wiring, motor, stuff like that, and gotten them running and driving. We've never actually built a full race car here. Um, but this is really where all of our North American operations takes place. And if we're shipping cars to and from Europe, this is typically where that process starts. So what you see here again with the uh, carry-on of the containers is, uh, is really just a, a space to store oils and consumables. Um, the stuff upstairs and the, and the one just behind us here, uh, those really just house you know, current projects and parts and stuff that we don't want to have to take and hide on the other side. So as we're working on something, we can fill these containers out with whatever we're working on. Um, and then just behind us, we actually have our 48-foot uh, Featherlight race trailer. So that's another thing that's sort of unique to our brand, you know, with all the cars that Ken runs all the places in the world, um, at least on the North American side, our entire race team is supported out of this trailer. Um, so this thing's designed to fit one uh, race car or a demo car, let's say in the case of the Hoonicorn. Uh, it fits all of our tires, fuel, and spare parts, and it's actually towed by a Ford F450. So in terms of race haulers and, and typical you know, race car setups, a lot of teams will have big haulers and, and semi-trucks. Ken wants to be different. We certainly like to stand out. And we have a matte black uh, 2019 F450 that pulls this thing. So that's kind of cool and unique as well to the brand. So thank you guys for joining us. That's the quickest I can give you a tour of the shop. And uh, cars are always changing. Right now we've got a lot of cars uh, on boats and trains and planes moving all over the world. And that's really been the, the way ever since I started here. I don't think there's ever been a, a month in the calendar where we don't have something uh, in transit. So depending on when you stop over here, we might have nine cars, we might have two cars. Thanks again. You like it? You good? You good? <laughs>